What's up everybody? Um, uh, we're going to be doing another video today. Um, just something I've been putting off cause the weather's been a little cold, but we're finally feeling good out here in Louisiana again. It's like 70 degrees or so. As you can see, I don't need to wear it. What the f is this? Watch your profanity. Right. I'm sorry. Sweatshirt. So anyway, what we're going to be doing today is this. Before I get these widened fenders on and all that stuff, I need to tackle a big problem I've been having, which is my uppers hitting on the strut tower so if you don't know when you lower your car it usually hits on the strut tower um so to combat that we got some sharpened spindles i got one of my homies to cook up some 30 millimeter shortened spindles for me um dude did some super quality work as you can see even painted them for me um i will have to get all the old ball joints off and everything off of this one and transfer everything over from what I have now. So let's go ahead and get into it. That is 30 millimeters shorter. So anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on. Uh, I'm not gonna film that process because it's basically everything in reverse, but I will show you all what it looks like when it's done. And we should be good to go after that. Um, hopefully all will go easy. Um, I don't know the status of if the bolts are stripped or not on the underneath. I don't think they are, so we should be good. So let me go ahead and get that done real quick. All right, so this is what it looks like when everything's installed. It took me a little while to get finished with it because I was fighting with these calipers as usual. Um, for some reason, they're just heavy and really hard to line up. Everything else went good. Uh, like I said, as you can see, it's way shorter. So thinking we'll be good. The last test will be getting the wheel on and making sure uh, I have the right clearance, which I should be fine. So let's go ahead and test that out. So we are good. Uh, the noise that you're hearing right now is either all this on my brakes from just not driving it or it's the dust shield rubbing somewhere. But it seems like we are fine, my friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this wheel on and we'll knock this other side out. And that'll be that for this project. All right, so we finished up on the passenger side. Everything is set how it should be. Uh, double checked all the bolts and all that stuff. Um, I did have to move the dust plate a little bit on the passenger side because it was actually rubbing. The uh, rotors were actually rubbing on that. But we're all good. Um, so it didn't make the car any lower or anything. That's not really the purpose of what that is. Again, it's just to give you more clearance so your uppers don't hit your strut towers. Um, I do have my dampening up 
all the way on the front and the back. And I think I have 18K in the front and 12 in the rear. So it is very bouncy. But I also did that partly because of the fender situation, which if you look here, you know, I've already rubbed through in some spots, which is part of the reason too, why I bought the wider fenders and everything. But again, as I stated in the previous video, whenever I get to actually fitting the kit up and all that stuff, uh, we'll be getting the car unwrapped and prepped again to wrap it again. But uh, yeah, it's a cool deal. So shout out to my boy Alton for uh, getting them things done for me pretty quick. They fit perfectly. I don't have any issues of rubbing or anything like that. Uh, we took some references off of the internet of how people normally do them. If you're in the Baton Rouge Gonzales area and you're watching and you want to get something like that done for any of your vehicles, hit him up. I'll leave his uh, Instagram right here somewhere. And uh, yeah. So Bailey showed up after all the work was done as usual. <laughs> but um, I don't remember if I had put it in one of my videos or not, but this is one of his two S2Ks. This one's uh, supercharged and everything else on all stock body. It's a pretty cool car, cool guy. But this will probably be one of the last times you see the car sitting like this, so take it in. Uh, I will be going with the same color yellow again, but it might be a slightly different variation. That's enough rambling on my part. Uh, just wanted to get another video out to you guys because I know I'm usually pretty lacking on stuff like that. But if you enjoyed it, and again, if it inspired you to maybe get some shit done on yours, because I know I didn't feel like doing mine. Uh, well, glad I could help. But anyway, see you guys later. I'm going to get all cleaned up and everything, and then we're going to eat. So see you later, guys.